here. Revelio. Leviosa. Akio. These coins must have come from Miss Coffee's Neffler. Love you also. Revelio. I might as well grab the Nifla. I'm here now.
Arrest their momentum. Professor Ham. Re Never realized how tiring it can be to capture a Niffler. Rebellion. Coco. Miss Coffey, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? It wasn't easy battling Ashwinders and finding a Niffler in that house. I've earned a reward. Oh, of course. I didn't realize you'd done all that. That was a lot of work. Anything for my precious baby. Oh, my brave little explorer. My greedy, greedy boy. Oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again for what you did. From now on, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. Do that. <laughs> Glacius! Accio!
Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. Ah, uh, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Sounds as if she needs rescuing. I know the perfect place. The perfect place is with me. Wait until the neighbours see her, not to mention how fashionable I'll be with those beautiful feathers. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Derrical. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Be prepared to cheat. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. At night, apparently. A veritable gem in the Highlands, Marinween. I don't, I don't know. You've made a mistake. So get him! Send some. Imperial! No! Coward! Defend him! This is the Diracle then, but Miss Moffat said Gwenaira only appears at night. Standing to poach in Aaron sure it's him spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Okay. 
again and you'll soon find yourself with now for punches at your back. Defender! Imperial! Release me! Defender! In your life before you eat. Imperial. Around here can sleep a bit easier now. Revelio. So militant with this. This must be the Diracal Den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now where is Gwenaira? Ravenia. Revelio. Not 
going to hurt you. Everything's all right now. improvements here. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible! 
Was it terribly difficult? She was difficult to track down, but I managed in the end. Believe me, I know. Well, may I have her now? Yes, but I'll be expecting payment first. I suppose that's fair. I'm well aware of how difficult she must have been to catch. She has such exquisite plumage. Oh, I shall make the finest attire from her feathers. And she'll have a good life too, of course. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much for bringing me Gwyn Naira. I shall keep her safe and only use her feathers sparingly. Alright, let's go back to Hogsmeade, because we need to go heal. And we're taking that too. Oh, two more popped up over there. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Akio! Come in! Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Pardon me? My Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Satrissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. <laughs> How magnanimous. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are boobatubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild. 
so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the forbidden forest for boo tubers. I hope it's worth the risk.
This is where Sakurissa said to go. Now, where are those Boba Tubers? Just my luck, a troll. Imperial! Rebellion. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Rebellion. That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakurissa now. No! You'll pay for that! It's I want to know your arm. Rebellion. I dream of making a better world 
for me. They come after me. I'll stick them like a cruiser. <laughs> Rebellion. Could it be a Merlin trial? <laughs> this place has seen better days. Bardolf Beaumont should have returned by. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. Shame, really. With Ranrock's camps cleared out, I have a feeling he'd have given up on dark magic altogether. <laughs> I can certainly look out for him. Any oh, help would be good. appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hope they know what they're doing. Brooms can be dangerous. Past the river near the forest. I must be on the right track.
Especially with the balloons, this is crazy. That is trouble of fool. Imperial! Revelio. Rebellion. An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Travel was before I invented blue powder. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Radolf? What do you know of my brother? I'm afraid he's joined the Ashwinders and has no interest in returning. But what No, no, this can't be. He was seeking their advice, that's all. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madam Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? <laughs> oh, bad off. Revelio. My sincerest gratitude. Bardolf, you wouldn't have left without saying goodbye, would you? What are you looking for exactly? I should.
should have done more. I shall never forgive but myself. Bardolf, you wouldn't have left. I got a plague with a plague. Let's go back to Hogwarts. Slot actually. Um, what should we do? Spells? It is wonderful to see you back here. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. I actually really like that scarf, I'm not gonna lie. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Sakarissa, I found the boo tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? It actually was a spot of trouble. You never mentioned I might encounter a troll. I think you should pay me more. <sighs> I suppose a higher price is less offensive than being forced to regard the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our pubescent classmates. Thank you, and your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. Oh, sorry, bro. Where you put the bag? Yeah. 
Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. We're on the brink of... I should try and rescue Garneth's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. See if there's something you need. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. That's been a pleasure. Poachers! Garnet was right then. I'd better be. Akia! Quickly! Send them! Kundringo! Kundringo! Akia! He's peddled! Akia! Kundringo! Bodega! Superfly! Akia! Descender! Ugh! It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. <laughs> Repair all.
Alohomora. Which one of you is Biscuit? Arresto momentum. Resto momentum. Settle your Rebellion. Arresto momentum. Potions you brood. <laughs> Professor Howen will never believe this. You've made marvelous him. Huh. <laughs> 
there. I'm not going to hurt you. Revelio. Revelio. Biscuit. Garneth, remind me again about your moon calf, Biscuit. Poachers kidnapped her and I'm terrified of what plans they may have in store for her. I can only hope she escapes or that some kind soul rescues her. I couldn't give a doxy what happens to those poachers, as long as my little Biscuit makes it home safe. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. I'll not mind seeing you here again. 
Consider yourself welcome. Hazel must be here somewhere. Come on, Hazel. Hazel back to a vivarium now. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Hengist of Woodcroft certainly knew how to come. 
Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine, and I can keep her safe, I promise. But I wonder if you can help me with the costs of caring for her. Oh, I'm so relieved. And of course, it's worth almost any amount of galleons to make sure my dear girl is cared for. Take good care of Hazel now. Revelio. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Mine now, demigod. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband, Greville, insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather... If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of... I see. Must have snuck in after I fell asleep. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I, I, I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us... But I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? Ugh. Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or some such authority. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. <laughs> Long past your bedtime. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? It's uh, good luck for me you stopped by today. 
Thank you for your patronage. You're the one that helped Agnes with her niffler. Glad she got... Thank you for your patronage. Glad... I'll keep an eye on your belongings if I were you. Crattering will steal the eyebrows off your face, she will. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Revelio. Rebellion. Accio. Descender. Glacius. Defender. Accio. I won't rest. Glacius. Accio. Descender. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Revelio. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Rebellion. Revelio. Revelio. Confringo. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Lumos. Lumos. That's that. Settled. Revelio. Enjoy suffering, do you? You seem fond of dying. You'll pay for this fine art drill. Revelio. <laughs> Nifla. It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. Revelio. That must be the Haggerty family heirlooms. Arrest them. I 
wonder how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief and his heirloom's coming home. Revelio. Revelio. You're the one that helped Agnes with her niffler. Glad she got it back. Hate having those. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a niffler. A, a, a what? You know, small, furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes, where to find our treasures. I suppose, mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. I found your heirloom, and I'll give it back to you. For a price. Huh? Well, I suppose that's only fair. Very well, we'll call it a reward. Sounds more decent that way. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Now, thanks to you, I won't have to. I have... What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. At least I've got my head. What do you have in store for me this time? Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. Looks rather dark in there. Confringo. Rebellion. Oh 
Confringo! This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Why are there so many vases in here? I suppose I should try to find all the vases. Revelio. few more vases. Revelio. I'm nearly finished. One more vase. Revelio. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Dying, are we? <laughs> 
wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. It's you. Hello. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes. I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. <sighs> Hello, Mrs. Rabe. How is Mr. Rabe doing? He's resting at the moment, but seems to be in good spirits. I hope the next time Rookwood's lock comes calling, you'll alert the authorities. Yes, I will. Lesson learned. If I'd known what you were planning, well, let's just say I'm desperately glad you're all right. Rookwood's criminals aren't to be trifled with. Promise me you'll stay safe. Your bravery is to be admired, but taking unnecessary risks, well... Don't worry, Mrs. Rabe, I can take care of myself. Yes, I believe you can. Thank you again, for everything. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion! Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. Rebellion. There it is. Confringo. These mining trials won't get. Hello. Nice to see you again. You as well. What can I help you with? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. Glad you were able to stop by.
Oh, my dear Miss... Garneth, remind me again about your moon calf, Biscuit. Poachers kidnapped her and I'm terrified of what plan... Everything's all right now. You fret, Biscuit. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? If it weren't for me, I suspect those poachers would have flayed her alive. Oh, perish the thought. Thank Merlin you were able to save her in time. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I think Biscuit will be safer with me, Garneth. What? No. You can't take my Biscuit from me. What will I do without her? Biscuit is clearly not safe with you, and I know how to protect her. Perhaps Ramrock was right about wizard kind, always thinking yourself superior to others. May I never be so unfortunate as to cross paths with you again? What shall I do without Biscuit? Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. 
We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small... You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Ugh, well, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much...
Hmm. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Revelio. The today. Wow. You turned out to be something of a hero, didn't you? Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Mong, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Revelio. Be lost without you. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Should never have trusted them. Oh no, Sir Fitzroy. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. 